Hey everybody, welcome to our next artist talk. We have a really great panel for you today. Again, we are focused on our From the Inside exhibition and we have another artist here today. Justin Kolasik, am I saying that right? Yeah, Kolasik. Kolasik, Kolasik. Yep, yep. um, you did absolutely beautiful work for this exhibition. And Juliana, if you can just tell us a little bit about what the exhibition is about and why you tapped Justin for this. Yes, hi, Kay and everybody. Um, this is an exhibition that pairs poems and artwork. So the poems came from a program called Free on the Inside that is led um, by um, Sharonda Eccentric Richardson in Correctionals in Miami-Dade. So about a year ago, we started the planning of this exhibition and um, I was given a number of 11 poems and I wanted to reach out to artists that are close to my circle, artists that have resonated with me. Some of the artists have moved recently to the area and may not have exhibited in South Florida that much. So looking at different aspects of why um, I wanted to exhibit this um, artist, um, I've been working closely with Justin in the past year in several aspects in, in Pompano and I'm familiar with his work somehow. So I started the process of sending the group of artists um, three or two poems and see what resonated with them. And from the poems that were written by the incarcerated people participating in the program. And so what's interesting with uh, uh, Justin is that he selected two pieces to pair them with one poem. I think that I want to ask um, Justin, like what was, if you can walk us through your response to the poem, uh, the poem titled Reflecting Inside Out. So what was your, how did that poem resonate with you and how did you come up with your piece? Well, I, I'd like to say that the title itself is, is something that I was interested in um, as far as, you know, I work intuitively. So when I, when I sit down and work with a piece, it's, it's, it usually just comes straight from the inside at first. And then every once in a while, you have something that you look at halfway through and you go, oh, this is actually has a theme to it. And I either decide to work on that theme or, or um, you know, just keep coming from the inside and, and then it turns out being some a mismatch, mismatch of all different kinds of things. And that's what um, the B Before You I Go turned into, uh, that piece, it turned into a, a piece of just a bunch of different things added together. And the other one, Muerte Regurgita, which means death regurgitates, turned into this death piece. It was about death and about, you know, this darkness that's going on there. And that's very hard for me to keep going in that intuitive way. If you're working on something for four hours straight and then you're trying to get back to that place to, to make something look that way, it's it's very hard to do. So that one uh, was a, definitely a struggle. But um, uh, the poetry in itself was beautiful. And um, one of the things that I really loved about it um, was um, he said at the end of the poem, he says, admit to your mistakes and he says the hardest thing for people to see is themselves and um that's what happens when you do intuitive work is you do it and then at the end you're like oh my god what was in my subconscious like what was i thinking about and so that's that's something that you know i really interested me really interested me about that poem jody did you want to jump in there yeah, so I know that you start with the process on the inside and that you are doing intuitive work and it's mixed media. Where do you figure out and at what point do you figure out what materials you're going to use in your mixed media? Well, I, I, I used to use all kinds of stuff. I used to use ceramics and etchings and all, all different kinds of mediums. Um, but then, uh, you know, after having a child and having smaller places as time went on, you know. Uh, I don't actually have a studio, so I usually just use things that are around the house, and magazines are one of those things that I that I get that's not a $30 tube of paint, but I can still use it as, as you do paint, you know. I look for those colors, you know. I don't just put, like, slap things together. I don't really overlap things, but I, I, I you know, work with the color in a way that a, a, a painter would. So, Justin, I had a question both looking at the work that you did for this exhibition and a lot of your tremendous work that's on your website, there's often a lot going on in your pieces. If a person is new to art, how do you like, guide them for what they should be looking at first? Or is there a way to take it all in to get the correct messages? What's your advice on looking at art, especially your art? 
Well, I would I would say it's it's about the connections of things. And when you're when you're looking at something that has a lot of different images together, a lot of different mm -hmm. colors together, a lot of different feelings are happening. Um, I think it's about connecting them. Just like I'm putting them together, I would like somebody to look at them and kind of like you know find these certain connections. Of course, it's going to be different in their eyes than mine. Um, you know, some people look at it and they think it's a funny thing, but it's actually like a sexual thing. You know, they 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 don't they they look at everybody looks at things in a completely different way. And I also like that when people look at collage, that they look at the placement of pieces because it's not just about it's not like somebody just threw something down. They're actually every single piece. They're either cutting it to size, like deciding to leave this little you know piece that comes off of it that is not the right color. Uh, you know, but all of those are conscious decisions, um, you know, at least on my part. That's exciting. So Justin, right now, what are you working on next? What can we look forward to seeing from you soon? Right now, I'm actually working on um, a series with my family, considering <laughs> we're stuck in the house, <laughs> right? Um, so we've, we've been, I've been working on a series with my son because I've been teaching him during the day and then, and then we have art class time. And then when my wife comes home, we do these performance pictures. I've done them in the past, there's some on my site, but uh, we basically take everything in the house that we have either based on color or texture or uh, based on the room. And then we uh, build a whole scene together and uh, are all dressed in different costumes that we've made out of you know everything in the closet. And then, and then we take a 10 second uh, timer uh, selfie with it. So we're using a regular phone, we're not using like camera, tripod, we don't really have any studio. So there's gonna be one for each room of the house. And uh, right now we have six done. So we have the bathroom and our bedroom to do. So uh, <laughs> there's, there's, there's all this stuff going on with that. And uh, I've sent a, a couple, I think, to uh, Juliana just to give her like a sneak peek of it. But um, that's, that's what I'm working on right now. And it's fun and it's creative and it's something that everybody can do at home. Yeah. Uh, but it's also, <laughs> You know, and we're using, you know, either underwear or whatever we have to cover our mouth as well. Just give that thing. I mean, everybody's, you know, six feet away from each other so that they're not six feet under, you know. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a tough time and this has been the longest month of everyone's lives. <laughs> well, you're giving us a lot of inspiration and, you know, Juliana and Jody pulling together um, this exhibition for us. And, and even though we can't get in to see it, getting this this way to experience it and to enjoy it and to have these wonderful talks with you, it's greatly appreciated. So, do you got, ladies, do you have anything else that you want to ask Justin while we have him here? I always wonder, when you're working on an art piece, how do you know when it's done? I always ask that Ooh, of artists. That's a good one. <laughs> uh, Sometimes you just keep going and you ruin it. You know, it's a, it, it just it just happens. You know, like you you you're halfway through it and you look at it and then you're like, this is beautiful. But then you just keep working on it, working on it, working on it. At the end, you're like, I really overworked it. And so it, there is a there is a there is a good like balance to that. And you know, sometimes I do overwork things, and sometimes I'm like, oh, I, I hit it on the head. But I, I try not to. Um, I don't I don't throw a piece away. So if I, if I work on a piece, I work on it till I think it's finished. If I don't like it, I'll actually work over it. And you'll, you see that on uh, Before You I Go, the, the other piece that's in there. I worked over it because I, I just, I didn't like it. But I don't throw anything away. I don't, I don't do that. I, I feel like if there's anything there that came out, I can fix it. Wow, that, that is amazing. Well, thank you. Thank you, Justin, for joining us. And we look thank forward so to much. seeing all of you again for one of our next artist talks as we continue to chat about our exhibition from the inside. Thanks so much, everybody. Thank you, Jody. Thank, thank you, Rihanna. Thanks, Justin.